At delivery, expectant parents listen for the cry. They hope to hear cries that are loud, irritated, and long. Traditionally, the newborn cry has been associated with life and vitality. In 1952, anesthesiologist and surgeon Dr. Virginia Apgar designed an assessment to quickly determine the health of a newborn at delivery. The tool she designed became the model for evaluating vital life signs, which allowed medical care to be given as quickly as possible when needed. Dr. Apgar's assessment prioritized and standardized care for newborns. Today, the newborn cry is still an indicator of life, but it is only one of the indicators in the assessment sometimes called the Apgar score. In the first 60 seconds of life, five vital signs are examined by care providers. This is how it works. Upon delivery, the infant is examined for the following. Color or appearance. Heart rate or pulse. Reflexes or grimace. Muscle tone is checked by activity and respiration is evidenced by the cry. Each vital sign is given a score of zero, one, or two. Based on each score, medical care is given if needed. The assessment is repeated again at five minutes after delivery. Each major life sign is assessed twice, so care can be given based on the baby's current condition. Though the first cry is important, it is only one part of diagnosing infant health. Hopefully, each subsequent cry is strong and full of vitality. Loud and Long, the most important cry, was developed by AppGuardian. Learn more about AppGuardian online at appguardian.com. And thanks for watching.